We have our dual battery system installed. Now we need to get that power to the back where our fridge and camp lights are. Like our system up front, this too will be very budget friendly. And at the end of this video, we're going to test our dual battery system to see just how long we can run a fridge off of it. We're going to show you exactly what parts we used and how we put it all together. Starting right now. We put links to all the parts we used in the video description, along with a link to the video where we installed the battery under the hood. Here in the cargo area of our Toyota FJ Cruiser, we're fortunate to have a couple of removable panels. Behind this one was our factory jack, but with a suspension lift and much taller tires, we have to use a different type of jack now, so this compartment is now empty. We were able to use this removable panel to mount our outlets and fuse box. This is our panel and how we wired it up. Our panel came with a master switch, but we weren't exactly sure how much amperage it could handle. And since we already have a shutoff at the battery for the panel, we switched it out for another USB port from the same maker of the panel. The outlets consist of three 12 volt plugs, two 2.1 amp USB outlets, and the outlet that we added has one 2.4 and one 3 amp port. To prevent damaging our battery, we never want it to go below 50% of its charge. That's 12.2 volts. This volt gauge will help us monitor that. The fuse box distributes the power to each USB port pod, 12 volt outlet, and the gauge with a fuse for each one. After the fuses, we then ran 16 gauge wire to all the outlets in the volt gauge using common ring terminals, spade terminals, and adhesive shrink tubing. Each one of the pods got its own positive and negative wire. Stay tuned, the result of our fridge versus battery test is coming up very soon. I was a little surprised by it. After adding up all the amps we have planned to go through our outlets and the length of the wire coming from our secondary battery up front, we determined we need eight gauge wires to safely transfer that power all the way to the back. And that's what you see right here coming into our fuse panel. On those wires, we're using an Anderson plug to make the panel easy to remove. Now we need to get the power from the front to the panel in the rear. We ran both positive and negative from our battery using eight gauge wires that are bonded together. Since the cables will be run underneath, exposed to mud, dirt, and road salt, we added some protection by running them through this common plastic conduit. Starting at the rear, with the other half of that Anderson plug, then down through the rubber grommet in the floor. We crossed over to the other side and ran the cables along the frame, making sure the cables couldn't be pinched, cut, or melted on the exhaust. The panel is very easy to put in place. At the battery, we hooked our positive up to a breaker we have in place, making sure it's turned off first, and the negative went directly to the battery. So let's try it out. By keeping it simple and using moderately priced components, we were able to keep the cost down to around $160. That includes the circuit breaker at the battery, the outlet panel in the back, and everything in between. So how long did our fridge run off of just the secondary battery? First, the details. Our battery is a 72 amp hour AGM. Our fridge is 41 quarts set at 35 degrees with only a 12 pack of beer in it. Well, 11 pack now. We haven't started the engine at all. It's been sitting inside our 70 degree shop the whole time. We started with the battery at full charge, 13 volts, and we went down to about 50% of the battery's capacity, which is 12.2 volts. That took 52 hours. I think that's a good long time. Now, if we were outside where we would be able to take advantage of our 120 watt solar panel, 
I bet you we could have extended that another 12 hours, maybe even 16. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. And look us up on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching. We were able to use this removable. We were able to use this removable. We were able to use this removable. Why can't I say removable? I don't know why. We were able to use this removable panel. Take 10.